Radio 59. Another tale well calculated to keep you in... Suspense. This is the story of two women alone in a house during a storm and what they do to protect themselves from fear. In a moment, The Companion by Walter Black. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. Winston gives you real flavor, full, rich tobacco flavor. Winston's easy drawing, too. The flavor comes right through to you. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. A modern filter? Sure, Winston has it. But that's only the beginning of a Winston. Up front, up where it really counts, Winston packs exclusive filter blend. Light, flavorful tobaccos, specially selected and specially processed for filter smoking. Filter blend. That's why it's fun to smoke Winston. America's best-selling filter cigarette. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. Yes. Miss Lord? That's right. Come right in. I'm sorry if I'm late. I couldn't get a taxi, so I took the bus. Oh, no. You didn't take any time at all. I got the impression you wanted me to get out here fast. Yeah, I did. Uh, You're a local girl, aren't you? Yes. You must know my husband, Kent. You were both probably in high school at the same time. Yes, I remember him. He was a year ahead of me, but that was some time ago. Where is my room, Mrs. Hughes? Oh, uh, just on the hall there. I, I'd like you to meet my mother first. Your mother? I thought you were alone. Well, I'm, I might as well be. Poor Mama's been in a wheelchair ever since she had her stroke four years ago. Uh, this way, please. Here's Miss Lord, Mama. This is my mother, Mrs. Stinson. How do you do? How do you do? Did you say Miss Lord? That's right. Somehow I expected someone a bit older. May I unpack now, Mrs. Hughes? Oh, uh, uh, yes, of course. It's at the end of the hall. Mrs. Stinson, are these your jewels? Yes. Why? If I were you, I wouldn't leave them out on the bureau. They're beautiful. They might get lost. Well, I hope you're satisfied, Lois. Mama, don't act as if I were being selfish. I got her out here as much for you as for me. Mm. Move the wheelchair closer to the window, Lois. Oh, did I ever complain before about Kent going off on his business trips? If you want the truth, yes. I may have complained a little. I never did anything about it. I can't stand it anymore, always being left alone. Not all alone, Uh, dear. Yes, I know. I know. I'm a cripple. I didn't say that, Mama. You don't have to look so reproachful. Each time Kent's gone off, it's gotten worse. Not that he cares. He's gone away again and again without giving me a thought. Now, Lois Hughes, you stop being so dramatic. Kent's a fine person and a good husband, but he's got his job to do. Well, then he ought to change his job. I think he wants to travel, doing whatever he does. Oh, Oh, you think I exaggerate, don't you? Well, all I want is for my husband to come back home every night. Is that so terrible? Does that make me a bad wife? Oh, no, baby. Mama never thought that. Well, did you ever think how lonely it is out here for me? Buried like this out in the country? I get scared, Mama, sometimes. And then you with your precious heirlooms lying around. Oh, they're memories, Lois. That's all I have. Yes, but what if someone tried to get in here while Kent was away? Well, people are still robbed, you know. Stop talking that way. Are you trying to frighten me? I'm trying to be sensible. Those jewels are a temptation to any man who wants to walk in and pick them up. Well, I've had some of those pieces since I was 16, Lois. That diamond brooch belonged to your great-grandmother. Yes, Mama, I know, but 
What good would they do you if they were stolen? Hmm. Well, even even Miss Lord noticed how careless you are about it. Oh, oh, all right, all right. I, I, I don't want to argue about it. But I, I still don't see what that woman is going to do around I'm here. Careless. She doesn't do anything. She'll be here. That's all I hired her for. Who recommended her? Pe- Peggy Martinson. She stayed with her when she was sick last year. Hmm. I, I don't like her. You only saw her for one minute. She's too cold. She looks right through you. If you don't mind, I think I'll just have my meals sent in here. The less I see of her, the easier I'll feel. Want me to take your supper tray, Mama? Mm Mm-hmm. Have you eaten? Oh, I just had some coffee. I'm too jumpy to eat. Well, this storm is enough to make anyone jumpy. Oh, listen to that rain coming down. It's not a storm, Mama. It's Miss Lord. Why? What's she done? Oh, nothing, nothing. It's the way she acts, that's all. It's... Well, it's what you said. She's, she's cold. I, I feel uncomfortable around her. What has she done? Nothing, nothing really. Nothing at all. I, well, I didn't want her to do anything. I just wanted to feel safer with her, but I, I don't. She keeps staring at me in that cold way of hers. Well, then, for heaven's sakes, get rid of her. Call a taxi and have them come pick her up. Won't that look awfully, awfully funny? Well, what do you care? This is your house. Pay her for the day and get rid of her. Tell her you've changed your mind. I never should have called her. It's true. I do exaggerate. We don't really need anyone to... What's the matter? You want me to look up the number? There's no dial tone. Well, jiggle the hook. It's dead. Oh, it can't be. The storm isn't that bad yet. Maybe it's just this extension. Go use the one in the front hall. Yes. Yes, Mama. I'll be right back. <gasps> oh! Miss Lord. I thought you were in your room. I was closing the living room windows. Good night, Mrs. Hughes. Mama! The wire! It's been cut! Mama! Mama! What? What is it now, child? The phone. The phone. She cut the main cord. <gasps> I almost caught her at it. Did did she say she did it? No, I didn't ask. I was frightened. Besides, she'd gone to her room. But why should she do it? Why? Don't you see, without the phone, we're helpless. She... Oh, she she wouldn't do anything, honey. Why, why, people know she's why, here with who us. Who knows, Mama? Nobody. They, they do, too. The taxi driver. No, no, she took the bus. She walked up from Broad River. She, she said she couldn't get a taxi. What are we going to do? I'm going to talk to her, Mama. Anything's better than than not knowing. Lois. Yes, Mama. Be careful, honey. Miss Lord, it's me, Mrs. Hughes. <laughs> know what the last couple of minutes have been like. What are you carrying your handbag for? It's not mine. It's hers. Well, whatever. Stop, stop asking questions, Mama, and listen. I knocked on her door and there wasn't any answer, so I went in. She wasn't in her room, even though she had said goodnight. Her purse was on the dresser, so I opened it up and... Look, Mama, look. Oh, God. Don't touch it. It might go off. Why would she be carrying a gun, Mama? My jewels. She's after my jewels. Oh, baby, do you think if I, if I, if I offered to give her one of the smaller pieces, she'd leave? You mean bribe her? It's worth trying. 
Is that my handbag, Mrs. Hughes? Oh, yes. What are you doing with it? Uh, I... Oh, I, 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 thought, I thought it was mine. I, I have one like it. And you I, have one like it in my room. Well, I, 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 I was looking for it, and I knocked on your door. May and... I have it? Thank you. You didn't put your jewels away, did you, Mrs. Stinson? Lois, ask her. Miss Lord, my mother and I, we're both very grateful for your coming up here and, and staying with us, and we'd, we'd like... We'd like to give you a little token. After all, my mother hardly ever wears any of her jewelry, and you seem to have admired them, so... Why don't you pick out one of the pieces you'd like and take it? You want to give me jewelry? Yes, yes, that's right, just because we're, we're so grateful. Aren't we, Mama? Yes, yes, we're grateful. So just help yourself. <laughs> I know it's a little unusual, but we're we're very grateful. If you like, Mama will write a little note saying it, it's a gift. I don't accept gifts. Good night. Quick, lock the door. Why did she refuse, Mama? She saw right through us, for one thing. Why should she take one piece and she can murder us in our beds and take everything? No. No, she wouldn't, Mama. See this? What? The gun. She didn't even know. Put it away. Oh, just decided it scares me half to death. All right, Mama. But at least she hasn't got it anymore. Now I'm going for help. Lois, you can't leave me alone. I'll leave the gun with you. I could never use it. Mama, that that woman is a, is a, a psychopath. You mean she's insane? Yes, I think she is. But but you told me yourself Peggy Martinson recommended well, her. I could pass act just like anybody else most of the time. Mama, I'm going to lock your door from the outside because I have to go. Oh. Be careful, Lois. And don't forget your boots. Yes, Mama. Maybe once you get out on Barrett Road, maybe a car will pass. You could get a ride. Yes, Mama. Be sure and lock the door from the outside and take the key with you. Yes, Mama. She... She must be in her room. Be careful. I will. Who, who, who is that? Go away. The door's locked. It's locked. And now go away or I'll, I'll scream. <gasps> oh, Lois, why didn't you say it was you? I didn't want her to hear. Why haven't you left? What happened? Did, did, did she catch you? She didn't have to, Mama. Mama, the doors are locked. The back door, too? Yes. The cellar? Yes. Well, well, there, there must be a key. You you have the one to this room. But that one was in the door. But isn't there another key yes. someplace? Yes, on Kent's key ring. Oh, dear God. I thought of the windows, but the casements are too small. Oh. Mama, we're prisoners. In just a moment, we will return for the concluding act of... Suspense. Here's Hollywood star Mona Freeman. Who feels like acting with a miserable cold? I relieve cold distress the fast way with four-way cold tablets. Yes, tests of all the leading cold tablets proved four-way fastest acting. Amazing four-way starts in minutes to relieve muscular pains and headache, reduce fever, calm upset stomach, also overcomes irregularity. When a cold strikes, do what I do. Take four-way cold tablets. It's the fast way to relieve nasty cold distress and feel better quickly. Four-way, only 29 cents. Our program will continue in a moment after word about another fine product of Grove Laboratories. Does dandruff dull your hair, leave scalp itchy? Get Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo and get rid of unsightly dandruff in three minutes. Three minutes with Fitch regularly is guaranteed to keep embarrassing dandruff away forever. Apply Fitch before wetting hair. Rub in one minute. Add water. Lather one minute. Rinse one minute. Every trace of dandruff goes down the drain. 
Three minutes with Fitch, unsightly dandruff gone. Fitch can also leave your hair up to 35% brighter. Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo. Just as surely as if we're locked up in jail. Mama, when I think of all the awful things you read about in the papers, you never dream they can ever happen to you. It's, it's like a nightmare. Sit down, child. What? We've got to think of some way out. All right, Mama. I'm sitting. Now go ahead, think of a way out. Oh. Only 10 o'clock. I thought it was later. Lois, hand me my box of stationery. Mama, what for? What time does your milkman show up? Six or seven, why? I, I can write a note. Wrap it up in three or four sheets of paper and some envelopes. Throw it out the window. Even if the rain does get to it, he'll be able to read it. And then he has to pass my window to get to the back door. What, what's the matter? It's worth trying. No, no, it's not, Mama. He was here this morning. He won't come again until day after tomorrow. <gasps> there. There, now. There. Mama, you know who's responsible for all this. Kent. He didn't have to go off and leave us alone. He has that new assistant he could have sent. But he wanted to go. He wanted to get away from me. Stop, Seth. Now you're getting hysterical. Kent is a good husband, and you're lucky to have him. Listen. What is it? Shh. I thought I heard the door now, Brattle. You know, if she really wanted to, she could break down the door. Oh, Those no. panels are like tissue paper. <gasps> Lois, take that gun. What for, Mama? Take it. Lois, don't touch the trigger. But, Mama... Don't argue with me. You've got to face that woman. You've got to make her leave this house. But I've never handled it. I don't care. You've got to do it. You said yourself that you could break down the door. You think that she'll just sit around and wait until somebody comes and she has to leave? This is the only chance we have. All right, Mama. Don't let her get close to you. No. Oh, that's my good girl. And Lois, if you have to pull the trigger, aim at her leg. Oh, heaven. Yes? It's me, Mrs. Hughes. I have to see you. Yes? What are you doing with that gun? I have to talk to you. Put that gun away, Mrs. Hughes. Please. I have to talk to you. Well, what do you want? Please put that gun down. After all I've gone through. Don't be ridiculous. Well, sit down, Miss Lord. What is it you're... Do sit down. That's better. Please, Mrs. Hughes, what have I done? That's right, that's right, Peg, I like that. But what have I done? Please, oh, don't you... It's too bad. Ken can't see you crying. <laughs> he hates women who blubber, you know. That's what he calls it. That's why he's never seen me cry. Although I've felt like it often enough. Please, don't me... move. It's better. Oh, and don't bother screaming. There's only my mother to hear you. And she'd think it was me anyway. And besides, if you screamed, it might make me so nervous... And the gun would go off, and then I'd have to tell Mama we fought for it. And it went off accidentally. What do you want? Oh, come now, you're a big girl. Why ask foolish questions? You. You cut the phone cord. Well, of course. I did everything else, too. But why? I've never done you any harm. I've never done you any harm. You've only tried to ruin my life, that's all. You think I don't know about you and my husband? Your husband? Not that you're the first. Every woman who sees him tries to take him away from me. Even that smug little Peggy Martinson, she thinks I'm blind. Well, I'm not. And you, you poor little fool, lying about remembering him from long ago. 
Well, you think I didn't know you were sweethearts in high school and still are? You think I don't know he's been sneaking off to meet you on the sly? Oh, how you must have laughed at me. How sure you must have felt to walk in here into my home. Oh, yes, I did know Ken in high school, but it was never serious. I swear to you, I haven't seen him a dozen times since then. Oh. It was only high school dating. I've never been in love with him. Go on, go on, lie some more. Tell me you never sat with him in the station cafe either. Oh. Well, I can explain that we bumped into each other accidentally. We had a cup of coffee while he was waiting for a train. That's all. I don't understand what he sees in you. Please, Mrs. Hughes, he doesn't even know I'm alive. Oh. Oh, very apropos. Because you won't be much longer. No, will any of those other girls he runs off from me? Are you ready, Miss Lord? Girls, give me that gun. You don't understand, Mama. She's trying to take Kent away from me. So that that you weren't worried about my jewels or about us? She's trying to get Ken, don't you see, Mama? I'm beginning to. You locked the door. And cut the phone cord, didn't you, Lord? But I've had to, and Mama. frightening me. That was all a part of your plan, too. I'm wasn't sorry. It? I'm sorry, Mama. I have seen this jealousy of yours build and build, but I never dreamed that you... Lois, Lois, child, your husband loves you. There's nothing for you to be jealous about. He's coming back. Oh, yes, to get her. No, no. Hey, in here. You see, for her. In here. Bedroom. What's the matter with the phone? Oh, down the line. I've been calling since 5.30, but... Diane, what are you doing here? What's going on? Lois, what are you doing with that gun? Oh, I think that you and Miss Lord are sweethearts. What? You don't have to lie anymore. Nancy Adams saw you with her at the station cafe. Saw me with... Oh, oh, one. I ran into her accidentally. We had a cup of coffee, that's all. Tell her, Diane. I tried to. You're away so much. And I know I'm not glamorous or, or very excited. You're my wife, and I love you. Uh, 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 yes, darling. That's so crazy. <laughs> Honey, look. The trip was postponed until next week. How about coming with me? We'll take a couple of extra days just for us. <laughs> you really... You really want me to? Very, very much. Oh. Oh. There, there, there. It's all right now, baby. Come now, and everything is going to be all right. <laughs> The Companion, written for suspense by Walter Black. In a moment, the names of our players and a word about next week's story of suspense. Are you out of tune due to irregularity? Then help yourself get back in tune with Kellogg's All Brand. Pleasant, isn't it? The feeling of well-being you get when constipation from lack of bulk is no longer a worry. When harsh, irritating drug laxatives can be thrown away. Because Kellogg's All Bran is the normal, natural way to regularity. Its whole brand content gentles away constipation, supplies your system with the bulk-forming food you need for youthful regularity. And it tastes good, too. Fact is... Kellogg's All Bran is the one and only whole bran cereal that combines proved effectiveness with appetizing taste and crispness. So if you're out of tune, help yourself get back in tune as millions do with Kellogg's All Bran. A double L hyphen B R A N. Kellogg's All Bran. <laughs> story where Elizabeth Lawrence is Lois, Virginia Payne as Mrs. Stinson, and Rita Lloyd as Miss Lord.
with them again next week when we return with The Symbol, a story of murder with a motive for everyone, written by Alan Sloan from a story by Eliezer Litsky. Another tale well calculated to keep you in... Suspense.